Hey, how are you, beauty? I'm good. Um, I'm going on this girl's night tonight, so we're going to the club. Okay. So. Oh, okay, now, what city are you in? I'm in Dallas. Okay, that, no, Dallas is fierce. Dallas is fierce. Now, how tall are you, T? Five, three and a half. Okay, all right, that's cool. I said, like I said all y'all women look like models tonight, so I'm trying yeah, we to, trying to come out cute. We try to look cute. We try to yeah, be a cute girl. girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I was gonna wear this little bag because it has a little red to match with my mm -hmm. heels. So oh, be like you know, cute. Right. Or I was thinking too, I could do silver. I like the ones you have like on. This little black bag with silver heels. I like the Louis Vuitton. Yeah, I like the, the heels you have on. Those are different. Okay. Wear these. Okay. What's well, not seams everywhere? So I, you know, I didn't want to do too much. So what kind of what kind of guys do you go for? Um, I generally date like older guys, like 38 and up. I'm 33, by the way. Okay. So I talk to like 38-ish and up. Um, usually I talk to a lot of Nigerian guys for some reason. Yeah. Um, I guess that's who usually go for me. So I talk to them. Gotcha. So yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here. I'm trying to figure you giving fun girl look, but I'm trying to figure out why you giving fun girl look. Let me see. Come a look. Closer. Yeah. It's the, it's how low the top is. Yeah. You think that's what it is, brother? Yeah, Let's, that's what it is. Girl, that's not up for question, but I'm trying to figure out why is she giving fun? Why is she like, you know, yeah. Hey, we well, because tonight is a fun night, though. It's just the girls. I mean, we. I mean, guys are going to talk or whatever, but it's it's like for girls. It's a girls' night, so yeah. right. And I. But for the club, for the club, a woman shouldn't give fun look. Yeah. Just from no, a guy. Like, gonna... when I say fun, I mean behavior. Like, because here's oh. the thing: when oh. we see you, we already know what we're going to do to you. Today is Friday. I meet you Friday. Mm -hmm. I take you out Sunday. Mm -hmm. I take you somewhere nice Wednesday, okay? And by next Saturday, I get rid of you. That's what I mean by fun. So I'm just trying to figure out why, you know, I'm not sure what you're looking for. Now, if you're looking for, you're looking to have fun, you're looking to go have, like you said, Nigerians approach you, all right, you know, whatever. But if you're looking for a husband or somebody who would long-term pair bond with you, that's right. a different situation. Right. Um. I mean... I think I do have like a fun personality. That's just kind of how I am. But do I want a serious relationship? Yes. Am I looking for him tonight? No. Okay. Fair yeah, if you're not looking for anything serious, because no, yeah, I I'll, I'll be cool. Looking for something serious, just not tonight. Well, yeah, uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. And, yeah, if you just yeah, you're not looking for anything serious tonight. Yeah, because the Nigerians are gonna holler. I mean. <laughs> What? But what would make a man who's not a Nigerian not holler? Yeah, that's what I'm, yeah. Specifically. A man would holler, but it's going to be for fun only. I, I just okay. said, I'll yeah. get you tonight and I'll get rid of you by next Saturday. Right, yeah, it wouldn't be anything. Uh, initially, remember, men, within the first five seconds, we know we put you in a category. If if tonight is the night that we see you, we just going we just going to kick it. What you doing after the club? Okay, yeah. oh, and you know what, tonight, that's kind of the the thing like i'm okay with just like having drinks them sending some drinks over and that's just being it but Very if nice. we do this again i'll dress more like how i would present myself in another setting do, do, do you drink when you go out yeah i do no i mean get drunk drink i mean i have a shot or two yeah okay all right can you follow I, up how did you i was just trying to figure out like when you go out like do like do you have like a glass of wine or do you take a couple of drinks and you know, kind of tipsy by the end of the night? I'm just I'm just trying to gauge. Well, it depends. If I'm going to the club like tonight, then we'll do tequila. But like if I'm at dinner, I'll do maybe a lemon drop. Or if I'm like at an Italian restaurant, I'll try the wine. So it just depends on where I am. Okay, fair enough. Fair yeah. enough. But I'm drinking wine now because like when I'm getting dressed, I'll, I like to like listen to my music, have a glass of wine, that sort of thing. But yeah, we'll be drinking like alcohol tonight yeah and you say the nigerians holler at you huh how you feel about nigerians oh yeah hey well, nigerians so, dropping that money well uh, i mean i think too in dallas there's a lot of them here um i mean i don't feel any type of way but how I, you feel about them like you like that or you um 
Because you mentioned it, so you. I want think to that know. they they treat me very well, um, and I like a guy who's kind of, who has that kind of alpha energy to them, and usually Nigerians have that kind of energy, so I now like that. The fun lasts. I mean, I I mean I've dated Nigerians for long periods of time. It's just like I think the commitment on their part is where they struggle. I don't think it necessarily has anything to do with me. So, so okay, so let's let's recap what you said. You going out dressed the way that you do. Yeah. You wanted us to know about the Nigerians. You wanted us to know about the Nigerians. Okay, you say that they treat you well, right? So then you also say that they struggle with the long-term part. I, I assume you meant commitment. So Earlier today, I said, I will meet you on Friday and I'll get rid of you by next Saturday. That's because you're giving fun look. You're giving fun look. So but fun what gives fun look? What just so the chat and woman will know what specifically gives the fun look? I For think me, it was how low it was cut. The shirt. She's that's beautiful. I, I just felt that's my like opinion. Like I go, you go ahead. I'm sorry, brother. Go ahead. Yeah, my opinion is that the the front was a little cut too low. Like me, I would be cool if that's my woman. She going out like that. Love it. Mm -hmm. I love it. But if I just see a single woman like that. We gonna have some fun now. Nigerian dudes, very confident, very aggressive. Got a lot of money. My mom has Nigerian in her, so I yeah. so I get what she's saying. But they they're about that money. They're about that woman looking good. They're very, you know, very very <laughs> overbearing sometimes. But yeah, I would just say she just to me that's what gave the fun girl look was the top. If we going out on a date together, totally cool. But if I see her in the club and she just with her girls, hmm. We just gonna have a, a good time. As I um as I mentioned earlier, like I said, I'll meet you Friday and I'll get rid of you by Sunday. By Saturday, I'm sorry, by next Saturday. We'll have fun, all the fun you want for a week straight. And um you'll be gone. I I, I drop you and get another one. That's the look that is given. Like we said, it's a pair of binoculars that we wear as men, and it's the look and it's also the energy that back the look. And when I listen, I asked her those questions specifically just to get her to say what her uh what her dating reality is like, and it was it's fun. Now right. we know what that means. Now mm -hmm. we know what Nigerian. When somebody says I date Nigerian guys, we know what that means, right? So I I just wanted her to say it just so she you know she can validate what what I already thought. So it's the look, but also the energy. Like I told you, those binoculars that we wear. And I say it's cool if you only looking for fun. Ain't nothing wrong with dressing like you look for fun. You, if you, no, there's fun, nothing wrong with that at all. Right. If you and want a certain type of man, mm -hmm. he's mm -hmm. going to want a, a certain type of woman to have a certain look. Fair enough. Fair enough. And again, for all the ladies watching, you don't have to change for a man. You don't Oops. have to change anything at all. You can stay as you are. That's you right. As well. My iPad actually died, so I didn't hang up on you guys. <laughs> Trust me, I'm not taking anything like super personal, but um, I think there was some more commentary before like my iPad dropped. So I just wanted to hear what was what was being said. I feel like because I'm 33, it's becoming a conversation of like what to wear based on age. And I mean, like I'm a single woman, like I like I don't understand why. You know what I mean? You don't. You don't understand. You understand what? I don't understand why the conversation shifted to like, at a certain age, you can dress a little bit more revealing. But like, for the event, for where I'm going, I feel like the outfit is appropriate. I don't and think, I think what age. you were saying oh, was no. that yeah, we didn't you didn't talk to me, but you would discard me. No, no, no. Um, but that's like in my experience. That's not like my experience. So I just wanted you to elaborate well, on that. Show me your ring. Then. Show me your marriage ring. If that's not I'm, your. Well, okay. I mean, I've been proposed to twice. No, no, so no. So I'm single. That. No, no, no. For, I'm single married. because I want to be at the moment. And so I, right I don't. Person. I don't want us. I don't want us to argue. I want us to have a conversation without okay. us. You know, not not just you, T or brother New. I just want us to have an adult conversation. Yeah. Respectful yeah. without us going back and forth because this right. is not that kind of space. Okay, so, T, you say that you haven't been discarded. So, all I ask is show me where the man is who kept you. Show me that man. 
Well, like I was saying, I mean, I've been proposed to multiple times, so I'm single because I want to be at the moment. Yes, sure. If the right guy comes along, I'm going to be so excited and happy and I'm going to want to be with that man. But I have not met that man. So tonight, my girl got a promotion at her job. So we got a table and we're going to have a good girl's night out. So I felt like it was appropriate for me to wear, I, you know, like, why can't I be revealing at 33 and still be taken seriously? I mean, tonight is not about meeting meeting men. We tonight never, is about having a good time with the girls. We never told you that you couldn't wear what you wear. We never told you that you couldn't wear that. Right. But I'm just, I'm referring to like the conversation though. So, so, I mean, of course you didn't say don't wear that, but you implied that the outfit would make me look unserious. I guess you used the word I fun think, girl. So what I think you said, Brother New, was um, she looks like a fun girl. You would hang out with her on Friday and get rid of her by Thursday or something. I'm just paraphrasing it. Okay. So what about her gives that impression? I'm assuming so, so as I'm trying to ask. It's, okay, so let me start by saying this. You're an attractive girl. That's not up for conversation. That's that's understood, right? It's just that when we approach women, we have a plan, right? So when I look at you, I just say fun. Like I, when I look at you, I don't say like, oh, you know, I may try to put some children in her. I wonder what she where she wants to be in the next five years. Like when I look at you, I don't say that. That doesn't mean that you're a bad person. When I look at you, I see fun. And you spoke to your reality. You say, well, are they Nigerians and something, something, something else? And long story short, that they don't commit. That speaks to your reality. Like, you can dress however you want. That's, and as a matter of fact, if I approach you, you may tell me no. You may like, no, nah, I'm not feeling you. Get out of my face. And that's fine. But I'm telling you, if I were to approach you, I would approach you with the mindset like, hey, we're going to date. We're going to have a blast. And then, you know, when it's over, it's over. That's all I'm saying. Like, you can dress however you want. That's fine. But we as men, when we approach a woman, we have a plan already in place. Right. Which I can understand that. Like, I can understand that you have, like, a vision in your head when you approach a woman. I get that because I think as women, or I, I'll just speak for myself, like, when you look at a guy, you have an idea of what type of guy that person is. So I can understand that. But when I say, like, I date Nigerian guys, I believe I said this, and if I didn't, then I'll say it now. Um, that is who usually approaches me. And also you ask like, why? And I said, because I feel like they treat me nicely. And that's just my experience. So I saw in the comments too, like once my phone loaded, um, they were talking about, it was, it was like a lot of talk about dating Nigerian guys. And I just want to make it clear. It's like, in my experience, Nigerian guys put forth like effort into dating with black American guys, I just have not experienced that from black American guys. But so no, that is why I typically marry that you, type. That's a complete contradiction. You tell us how nice they treat you, but none of them married you though. That's no, a, oh, okay. So let's, let's, okay. Well, the first time I got proposed to, it was from a Nigerian guy. I made a choice to say no. That's a contradiction. Secondly, secondly, I want to say that it's not because they don't want to commit, it's because some sort, some standards without saying too much, because I don't want to offend anybody. Some standards that they have, I don't necessarily agree with. So if the, the greatest Nigerian what? guy, if I meet the one and he aligns with everything that I believe in, like my beliefs and my morals and things like that, then I will absolutely marry that man. But okay. I feel like some Nigerian guys, the way they are raised, sometimes that their relationship, the way they deal the way they handle themselves in relationships are just a little different than what I'm willing to deal with. Okay, so let's go into that because you, okay, listen, listen, you're talking about these Nigerian guys. Let's go into the relationship. Are Nigerian men known for being monogamous? Yes or no? I have not dated all Nigerian men. I cannot speak to that. Okay, now you can't speak to it. First no, because I'm not going to sit here and bash like a whole like, okay, listen, I, I don't listen. think that's right. I don't want to generalize them at all. I just the want to Nigerian speak from my experience dated, only. The Nigerian men that you dated, were they monogamous to you? From what I believe, yes, okay. mostly. From what I believe, mostly, yes. However, 
there's when you're dating you get to know a person you figure out the things that um they may or may not do in the future and i feel like there's times in a relationship or where i've dated a nigerian guy and i got a vibe that this person may not always be monogamous to me or they may you know want more uh just ugh, i don't want to say that they may want uh something different down the line like what i'm curious go ahead and tell us like what like i i mean i i tell us you dated nigerian men <laughs> i think her phone cut out yeah i just say hey if, if she likes what she's getting don't change don't I'll change just, but she she mentioned one thing where she said i should be able to dress like this and still be taken seriously well men are going to be men men are wired and it's their opinion that kind of dictates that. I understand, like, I want women to love me and I make, if I was making $50,000, well, it's gonna be a subset of women, right? So it's certain things that we want reality to be certain ways, but it's not certain ways. If you wanna be taken seriously, it's a certain way you dress. If you cool with the what the result you're getting, don't change. If you, are, women, if you, if you don't want anything different. When women say certain things, it typically denotes something like if a woman said, I date athletes, we know what that means. When a woman says, I date Nigerian, we know what that means. All I say is you got to take the pros of dating Nigerians and you got to take the cons, right? You say that you don't date all Nigerian men, but there's such such thing as an observable reality. We don't have the statistics in front of us, but there's an observable reality. We know what that means, right? I date, I date Nigerian men. No different than women say, I date athletes. Like, we know what that means. Like, that's the fast hookup culture. We know what that means. That does not count. If you're a man who lives a fast life and you date multiple women, that's not honorable for a woman to say, well, I date this guy. Well, shit, he date everybody. That's not honorable. So when so you're, you're talking about women, when, when, when women make certain statements saying, I only date doctors, I only date lawyers, I only date athletes. It implies something. Is yeah, it, 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 it implies something. So when you say I date Nigerians, that's fast life, fast dating, right? So that that that's pump them and dump them. We know what that means, right? We're all adults. So if you date somebody and it's a pump and dump lifestyle, don't tell me how good somebody treated you who pumped and dumped you. Don't tell me about that. If he treated you good, that means that it's for the long haul. The woman that I treat good is going to have my last name. The woman that I treat good, she's going to have my last name. So it's going to match. You can't tell me how good somebody treats you and they didn't keep you. It's it, The two go hand in hand. If you tell me some guy treated you so good, but he didn't keep you, that just means that you were the woman for the night. And that's fine if that's what you want. But don't, don't blend the two. The guy who treats you also keeps you. The two go hand in hand. Don't mix it. Don't muddy the waters. I'm cool with whatever a woman wants to do. But don't sit up here and tell none of us on the panel how good another ethnicity of men treats you that didn't keep you. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. What are your thoughts on that, Rich? Is that... I, I think that... Because it seems like earlier, the first time she was on, she said she was just having fun. So I'm cool. I'm like, cool. Dress like it's that. It's not specifically have... about tea, but I'm just saying, is there like an implication if a woman says she dates a certain type of guy? Oh, definitely. Yeah. That, like, Nigerians? Not just Nigerians. Well, anybody, yeah, yeah, any subset. Rappers or, yeah, I lawyers. Or rappers, doctors. Or, right. So, you know, yeah. she, she want to do with money. And that's cool. If she meet a dude who's cool, he wants her. I don't see anything wrong with somebody stating what they want. Now, if you say you want one thing, but you behave in a way that's counter to that, that won't, that will repel what you want, then I'll give you feedback. But yeah, if you, hey, I want a baller, go get a baller. You know how ballers like you to dress? Dress that way. So I'm all about, does it align? But if you say, well, yeah, I want to dress like this, but I want to be taken seriously. Well, that's when we have a disconnect. Because the man who's going to take you seriously is looking for something else. If me and her were going out on a date, that's my girl. Perfect. Love it. But if I, if you just a single woman in the club, mm, we just going to, we, we're going to kick it. But I, I think it's totally fine for a woman to identify the type of man that she wants mm -hmm. and goes after him. Do it.
But if it's not working, that means you got to change something. Right. Someone said Nigerians do not pump and dump. Traditionally, are more marriage minded and family orientated than African American men. Well, we're not going to get into the African American versus Nigerian thing tonight. I, we're going to leave that. That's another conversation for another day. Um, nevertheless, you know, show me rings, show me rings, and show me a marriage that actually works. That's the only thing that we keep score by. I met a million women who all say that they've been engaged. I'm a man. We as men, we talk. I know guys who take the same ring and propose to multiple women. That means nothing. A proposal means nothing. Every girl has been proposed to three to five times. That means nothing. That means you got a job offer. Until they hire you and keep you for a while, give you a raise, none of, nothing else before that counts. Please stop telling us about how many times you've been engaged. That means absolutely nothing. I know men who propose to women with the exact same ring, literally, because it means nothing. A proposal means nothing. A proposal, hey, look, I got a ring. You put that ring on. That's all it means. Tell me about the wedding plans. Tell me about the wedding and tell me how he has been faithful to you, treated you well, hasn't embarrassed you for the past five years. Once you get to that mark, now we're talking. Please don't tell me about your engagement. That means nothing. It means nothing. Let me ask you, um, both of you, since you're here, and I'm sure the woman want to hear this, um, what would... I guess what would qualify for a woman to get a ring? You go ahead, brother. You speak first. It's up to my, what what the man wants. Do does her behavior mindset match what a man wants? I and from your perspective, like from your perspective, what would I guess what would give you or what I don't know what would a woman need to be look like be show up as for you to give her a ring for me. Or, or, for, or for, men in for both of you, yeah, for both of you, what would that look like? You or go for ahead. men in general, yeah, men in general, and then you can add in your perspective. When I look at a wife, if we have kids or not, I look at would she be a good mother to my kids? If I can see her as a good mother, so if she has certain behaviors currently. <laughs> It might not work, but yeah, I look at that. A wife, I'm like, I gotta, I go, I'm very social. I do a lot of social things. So she has to have a look that she can go to the R&B concert. She can go to jazz. She can go to the gala. She can go to the opera. And does she have the behaviors and the mindset of a mother or nurturing? It doesn't have to be a mother, but a nurturing mindset. So that's me, mature. If you only want to party, no, that's not, because life is more than that. So it has to be a mature mentality um and really just have to have a nurturing nature kind of that nesting motherly nature i, sh I should be able to see that in you so I i'll speak for myself um and and i, and I want to lay context to this um i myself i'm 37 years old i've never been married i don't have children not only do i not have children i don't have any maybe babies i've never purchased a ring in my life um i'm an honorable guy the people who know me in real life know that and understand that, right? What that means is um, I'm respected amongst my peers. I don't call myself a high value man. I let society do that, right? Um, a ring coming from me means something because that means that this is my first time doing this and I'm going to do this to the fullest extent. If I ask you to marry me, we're going to get married. I'm going to treat you right and do right by your side. I will not embarrass you publicly. We will have children. All of us will live in the same household and I'll protect and provide for you. So when people talk about a ring, it's like, well, who is it from? I didn't, I've never, I've never given a girl a ring. I've never proposed. So that means it means something to me. That's sacred. I plan on doing the right thing. So again, when a person tells me that they've been proposed to multiple times, it's like, well, dude, like if you've been proposed to by a guy who has proposed to five other women, that means nothing. That means absolutely nothing. He didn't plan on doing right. That guy himself didn't come in good faith. When I propose to you, it will be a proposal in public. It will be an honorable, an honorable uh, material item, right? Something that you can, something that you can be proud of. And I'm a man you can be proud of. I'm not going to embarrass you publicly. I'm not cheating on my wife. I will be there from start to finish. My wife will die beside me straight up. So men like me, I'm old school black American. I don't have kids out of wedlock. Not to, you know, take shots at anybody like that, but a ring for me is coming from an honorable guy, okay? The people in my life think the most of me. The My closest, my inner circle, just as I said on Kendra G Show, my inner circle of black women, 
They think the world of me. They're waiting for me to get married any day now. And I'm going to bring home somebody who's respectable, somebody who would watch me because my job is to be a protecting provider. But I need my woman to protect me spiritually because one thing about a black woman, one thing about all women, but especially black women, you guys can see stuff that we can't see. You guys, you guys, we need y'all to protect us emotionally. We need you guys to protect us spiritually. One thing about it, if we have a falling out with somebody, your woman saw that way before you saw it. Because you as black women, y'all gifted something about y'all. I don't know what it is. All women, but especially our sisters. Something about it, y'all can see stuff that we can't see, right? So be that. Be my protection, okay? Spiritually, emotionally. I'll be your protection physically, right? I'll be your protection financially. I'm in the credit and real estate sector. So what that means is I help people improve their lives. I fix credit. I teach you how to get into real estate. So um, even with my profession, I'm here to not necessarily change you, but I'm here to help you achieve the better, the better or the best version of yourself, right? Not trying to change you, but take what you already have, and I'm trying to help you become the better version. This is what I do in my, in my business life, and it carries over to my personal life. So again, a ring for me, is a ring that actually means something. I don't propose to everybody. I don't tell everybody I love them. Again, not only do I not have children, I don't have maybe babies. I'll never embarrass my woman publicly. I don't play that. I'm old school American. And fair enough. And can I also add this to what would you say to, because I'm seeing this comment a lot, what would you say to the woman who asks you both, well, you guys seem like you have it all together. You have everything. And we know that women outnumber men and there's a lot of great, beautiful, young, I mean, checks all the boxes. What would you say to the woman who asks you, why are you single or why aren't you married right now? You go ahead first, bro. That's a great question. Right mm -hmm. now, I'm not looking for it. Here's, here's why. Mm -hmm. And it's a double standard. It's a double standard. That's why I'm not married. Mm -hmm. Women, when women are, when they're near 20, 20, 21, 22, most women aren't looking to be married 23 they want to have fun they have so many options so many options at the age usually they're not looking to get married men are reversed we got to build our value right when i'm 18 20 with nothing mm -hmm. so as we get older we get better our character's better we get wiser we get charisma there's some other things we get better at we make a lot of money when we're older. So now our options are plentiful. So, and it can be hard to make a decision sometimes as a man gets older, because now he's in his prime. He's 35 to 45. He's in his prime. He has a lot of options. He may not want to get married. Me, I do want to get married if I meet the right woman, but now I'm not pressed for it because I'm just, I'm, I'm having fun meeting nice women, dating is, is cool, but I always got my eye open. Let me find her and I'll wipe her up. And I think it means a lot for a man. To, to, if a man is successful, he has money and he offers to marry you, especially today. Divorce rate, 50 percent. If he got money, he knows she's going to take half. So he has to think very highly of you. If you don't get a prenup, he has to think very highly of you to offer you that ring. But that's why I'm not. I'm like, I would do it. I'm just dating now. It's fun. But it's like. I haven't found the one that I, I, I would wife, but I, I do want to get married again because I am divorced. He's single. I'm divorced. I was married seven years, but it's a lot of options. And so it's kind of like, man, I'm in my prime. I'm going to enjoy it to a certain degree, but I'm all, it's not, I'm not a forever bachelor. Yeah. I'll definitely do it again. Um, for myself, I, I'm a marriage minded individual. I'm a traditional guy. Um, I was in a relationship once upon a time. Um, it didn't work out. It's literally that simple relationship didn't work out. I was with somebody who I was interested in marrying. I never proposed having part of ring or anything like that. But long story short, the relationship didn't work out. Um, from there, I had to go back to the drawing board because I was an older guy. So as an older guy, what I changed, what, what I wanted didn't necessarily change at core, but some of the surface level things that I wanted altered a little bit. Um, I got back out there in the dating game. It's been cool. It's been fun. Um, I live in New Orleans, New Orleans, Louisiana. And we're one of the poorest states in the union. So what that means is there are residuals and there, there's, there's residuals of poverty. If I was in Dallas, San Antonio, Houston, I would have been married because you're talking about international cities, cities with a 
at an economy. Georgia, been married. Florida, LA, been married. In New Orleans, this shit is a little difficult. I'm gonna be honest with you. Even with a person who has the intellectual wherewithal to navigate today's dating pool, it can be a bit difficult. Um, fast forward, like I said, I went on the Kendra G show in January. I got about 300, 350, 400 hits. I went on there a month ago and I got almost 3,000 women reached out to me. Um, I'm for sure husband material, um, but there is a vetting process. What that means is if I'm interested in you, I must vet you for anywhere from six to 12 months before I decide to give you my last name. Um, and, and I just have to go through the vetting process. I don't have any women on my social media. I have never posted a woman ever in my life. When I get engaged, I'll post it on them and then the whole world see and then we'll live happily ever after. Until that time comes, you just have to go through the vetting process. It's literally that simple. I plan on doing the right thing. So um, I'm going to, um, I'm going to, I'm going to do my best to try to, uh, to vet someone and, 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 and eventually marry someone. I'm a traditional guy. I still believe in the institution of marriage, regardless of what goes on today. Um, I'm an old school guy. It's, it's literally that simple. So um, to anyone who's potential, we must go through the vetting process. When it happens, the world will know. It'll be blasted all over my social media. Fair enough. Thank you for sharing, guys. And if you can, just before we leave, feel free to leave your social media, your website, um, somewhere people can contact and connect with you. you uh, yeah, you can just use my screen name. Uh, that's my IG. The Real Enrich Talks is my IG. So you just follow me on there. Uh, for anybody who wants to reach out to me, I'm on uh, the exact same name on platforms. I'm on TikTok instagram and youtube my man if you really want to get in contact with me hit me through instagram um that's the one that i actually like know how to work TikTok, even though i have a couple posts on it i don't know how to work TikTok that good um i do have a youtube page i don't get on there too much but um i, I feel a lot more comfortable with instagram it's a bit more user friendly it's just as you guys see the information um like i said i'm in the credit and real estate space official brother new is the name o-f-f-i-c-i-a-l Brother, B-R-O-T-H-E-R, new, official brother, new, that's me. Perfect. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate you um, being here and being a good sport about everything. Thank you so much.